In this video, I'll be explaining how to read a foreign exchange rate. And this topic is usually uh, difficult for many, many students. And at the same time, I wrote three articles uh, to supplement my video as well. If you're interested in those, please check out uh, my website. Now, first, we have to understand the quote for the foreign exchange rates provided by banks. And it could be in the form of direct or indirect quote. But please do remember, for those higher value currencies, for example, the US dollar and the UK pound, they tend to use the indirect quote. So let's see here, it's the USD and RMB. So RMB stands for Renminbi. Renminbi is the currency in mainland China. So that means one USD, if you want to have one USD, you have to provide seven RMB. Now, we can see this quote, the USD is the base currency and the RMB or Renminbi is the variable currency. That's the first step that you have to understand. When we are reading the quote, we always focus on the base currency. So think about it this way. If you want to buy a company share, so for example, a company share price is $7. If you want to buy it, you have to give $7 to buy this company share. That company share price is the base currency, which means the USD. We are looking at the USD, how much does it actually is? And that's what I mean by base currency. Here, in order to have one base currency, which means one USD, you have to give up seven renminbi, RMB in other words. Now, second, think about the direct and indirect quote. So, here, if you're standing from the USD's point of view, so for example, you are in America or United States of America, and that means the USD to you is the domestic currency, and that means one domestic currency can be exchanged into seven variable foreign currencies which means one domestic equals to several foreign. And that means you are standing your pers from your perspective and because you are in the United States of America, uh, why are you keeping an eye on to the foreign exchange rate quote? Because you would like to exchange a different currency, which means the foreign currency. But here you are standing from your perspective not from the foreign currency's perspective because you're standing from one foreign currency's point of view, uh, one domestic currency's point of view, which means one USD's point of view, but you are based in America, but why are you keeping an eye on to your own currency? And it is a bit like indirect way to look at uh, the foreign currency, what does it actually worth, which means how much uh, the IMB actually worth from your perspective is a bit indirect way, isn't it? So, accordingly, from the IMB or Renminbi's point of view, if you can see, from the Renminbi's point of view, this quote is quite direct. Because the Renminbi, I have to give up seven to buy one USD, which means you have to give up seven to buy one of your shares. So it means the direct quote is one foreign currency equals to the variable domestic currency. And that means if I were to have one USD as my foreign currency from the uh, Chinese point of view, because USD is my foreign currency, I have to give up my own currency. It's quite direct. But remember, for higher value currencies, such as the USD and the UK pound, it tends to have the indirect quote. Okay? 
It's just to be the usual practice such as this. And that's why you can also see, for example, the UK pounds on the left hand side and RMB on the right hand side, and the USD on the left hand side and RMB on the right hand side. So that's quite interesting, isn't it? Now, this is the usual quote that we can see in real practice. But if I were to arrange the quote a little bit further, I would also say that 7 RMBs equals to 1 USD. Yes, you can do this. There will be different ways that you can arrange the quote. And that's the first article that I wrote. The second thing I need you to know is how the bank may make profit from quoting you the foreign exchange rate. Well, the bank will give you a bid price and offer price. Which means the bank may buy from you at the bid price and then will sell to you at an offer price. But from a company's point of view, we are not looking at from the bank's point of view. From a company's point of view, I will always buy the currency at a higher price and sell the currency at the lower price, which means at the bid price, if you like. But which currencies that we are buying? As I said before, we have to focus on the base currency. And in this case, we are focusing on the USD. And of course, in the second currency here, it's called the switched franc. Okay, now, think about it this way. If I were to buy one USD, how much CHF or switch franc that I have to give up? Well, because we are buying USD, we are buying at the higher price, which means we are buying at 1.4590, which means the value on the right hand side. And alternatively, if I were to sell one USD, Okay, if I were to sell USD, I would sell at a low price, which means I would sell the USD and get 1.4580 switch franc. And that's how it works. So we always focus on the base currency and we can win. Now let's see a practical example here. Now in the first case, we receive $2,000 USD. But I want to exchange it to switch franc. So, how much can I convert that USD into switch franc? Think about it. You receive the foreign currency, which is the USD. You don't need it, which means you sell it. You sell the USD. USD is the base currency in this case. And if that's the case, then you sell the currency at a low price, isn't it? So, you have to use 1.4580. 1.4580 here. Now, because in this case, we are using the indirect quote, isn't it? Because from the USD's point of view, yes, it's the indirect quote. And in this case, I will arrange the USD to, uh, one USD to several switch franc in other way. So for example, 1.4580, I can say that that will be 1.4580 switch franc to 1 US dollar. And now we've got dollar here, and because I've got CHF and to divide into dollar, and that means 1.4580 CHF to 1 dollar, and I can arrange it in this way. And therefore, I will conclude to calculate the CHF, I can use the dollar and to eliminate with the denominator, and that will give me the CHF. And that's why I will take $2,000 and to times by 1.4580, which will give me 2916 of the, of the switch franc. Okay, here. Now, another example, you can practice it on your own. The final article about the forex is how to read the chart. 
So here again is the USD as the base currency to several switch from. And we are focusing on the price of the USD. As you can see from July 2020 onwards, that the USD value against switch franc, but the USD value decreases over time. So here we are talking about the USD value decreases over time, and that's how we read it. So always focus on the base currency, and that's very, very important indeed. And of course, from the above currencies, uh, 1.4580 and 1.4590, the difference is called spread. And of course, I will explain it in a little bit more detail in my article and also in my course as well. In my course, in the financial management course, I also teach you how to combine the foreign exchange rates with quite lots of financial instruments. So for example, the forward contract, the money market hedge, the currency futures contract, the currency options, and also the swaps contract as well, of how to combine all these bits and pieces all together. I'll also explain the, from the macro environment's point of view, different monetary policy uh, of how the foreign exchange rate may be affected and also different foreign exchange rate systems. So for example, the fixed system or the uh, managed float or the floating system, how it works in many parts of the countries as well. And that will be very, very interesting indeed. And I look forward to seeing you in my course. APC, accounting for your future.